everybody, welcome back to my 30 Days to Die series. So it is the morning of day 26 and we are getting close to the Horde Night. And last night I set up a couple things to go in the forge here. We, we got a bit of um, clay going because we were getting low on clay in there. Uh, and I want to do... Uh, I'm going to craft out 100 forged iron because I think we're going to need that today. Uh, we'll probably need more. In here I got a bunch of bullets going. Um, 7.62, I think we're going to go with the AK. Uh, we've got more concrete mixing, the stone's burning down here still, making some more uh, cement mix here. Uh, but the first thing we want to do here is we want to make a couple things. We're going to make an AK. So let's go ahead and do that. Now just to make sure we got our... Um, oops. Uh, yeah, we got our crafting goggles on. Okay, so... It gave 47, so we got enough gear here to do that. So we're going to go ahead and craft that. And then we're going to do an SMG. And we're going to go ahead and craft that. Alright, so we're going to get those going now. Now I want to have a look into making a drawbridge. Oops, right in here. Here we go. Okay, so drawbridge. We want to put that in downstairs. Reinforced drawbridge, 100 forged iron, 1,000 wood, 20 springs, and 30 mechanical parts. I think we actually have all that right now. I got 100 here. Um, was it 30 springs we need? We got lots of springs. Mechanical parts we got tons of. And what did I say the last thing was? Oh, wood. Yeah, that's easy enough. There we go. So let's go ahead and make this reinforced drawbridge. We're going to make it in our own inventory. Uh, actually, we can't. We gotta throw it in here. There we go. And let's get that going too, because we want to get our motorbike just to ride up into our base here. I don't want to have to constantly be uh, throwing frames down and picking the bike up, all that stuff. So we're gonna go ahead and put a drawbridge in some point today. So I think the other thing we want to go ahead and do um, I'm still on a quest for that uh, those beakers. So I think we might hit up this town today over here. We barely made it through this one. We pretty much explored all our town. I think we go down here and check this place out. I think there was a hospital if I wasn't mistaken right here. So, I mean, we could try going through that, but that's a long, snaking kind of task. I mean, I guess we could just shotgun it up. There's also a town over here. Let's take the bike down here. If we can't find anything there, we'll head down here. Um, yeah, let's go do that. I really want those beakers. If we can't find beakers today then it's pretty much it. We're not going to find... We're, we're just going to forget about it until after day 30. We got plenty of ammo. So I'm not that worried. Uh, okay. Mike. And I heard a few screamers last night, but not very many. Like one or two. I'm going the wrong way. Yeah. All right, let's see if we can get a zombie count going today, too. We got four yesterday on the way there. On the way home, that is. It's pretty quiet out here today, though. Oh, here's our first candidate. Oh, okay. About as good as the lumberjack yesterday. Those guys weigh too much. Can't get good air on them. Let's hope for somebody on the road here. Nice, clean lineup. Oh, what, what, what? Oh, I have no idea where she went. Oh my god, I just saw her land. Did you see that? I don't know, I'm going to have to focus on that. See ya. Well, we only got two coming here. What do we got here? Hat Cafe. Military base. It's a pretty quiet town here. Oh, here's another candidate. Oh, 
He was a dud. Love to find another pawn shop. I never did bring my clothing. What's this? Oh, cracker books. Okay, I think it's hit worth hitting up this bookstore. Locked, huh? I don't know if I want to wake him up. Let's see what we got. Well, we got one dead zombie. Two up, two down. <sighs> you think hitting a pony ponytail is going to count? Nope. What's up, guys? Alright, we got somebody around back. We got an upstairs too. Let's get this out of here. Oh, they're coming out from up there too. And we got a runner. Yep, we're bringing them for all over now. Come on, you guys, get out here. Oh, what's up, buddy? Well, as long as we don't have any runners, let's just melee and save our ammo. Bye. Let's take these guys on. Or this guy. The other guy seems uninterested. Okay. What are they doing in there? A couple of assets. Okay, here another. I think he's over there. Where is he? Oh, there he is. Let's get him in the fight. Oop. Let him a little too much. And I didn't lead him enough. Oh, you didn't walk. You gotta arc it a bit more, too, I think. Oh, come on. And he moved. There we go. We just had to make the shot a little bit more difficult, that's all. Where'd he go? There you are. I had to stop the cracker books, didn't I? Yeah, well. Hopefully we can find something good here. Stay down. Watch, it'll be garbage. Well, there's nothing in there. Oh, duct tape. I thought we can't make a crap ton of it now. Okay, let's see what's upstairs. Is 
It's a little laggy today, and I'll accept the lag today because I'm ooh, compressing in the background. Latest episode of Jade Falcon Freeborn. What do we got here? Two tin cans. Hooray. And paper. Wow, that was worth the stop, eh? That was worth the drive to Acton. Let's make sure we got the shotgun. Toilets to go. Working stiff tools. That would have been great earlier on. Looks like we got houses over here. It's down here. Oh, another candidate. Oh, okay. Oh. I don't think anything's going to beat that uh, girl on the road, though. I really hope that I got that on recorded, because I saw her fall. Just kind of out of the corner of my eye, if I saw her, I'm going to just zoom in on it, but... Alright, well... Oh, got another candidate. Here it comes. Ah. Alright, well, let's head south. Let's have a look at the map first before we do go too far. Uh, we didn't get that whole town, though. Anyway, let's just go straight south. Ah, well, that's not too bad. I keep wanting to have a look at places like this just in case I find another trader. Is that a trader or is that a uh That's not a trader, that's just a base, right? Yeah. A couple of them across the road from each other. Must have been friends. Oh, here's one of those evil wells. The loot is good, but I ain't going down there. I learned my lesson. Ah. Oh, it would have been so good if we landed on her head. Oh, well. Can't have everything. Alright, let's hit the desert here. Even the ambient sound of this place just sounds like dead people. Oh, there's a dog. Wind up for the kill. Here it comes. Oh, he even moved our bike. Wow. Solid dog. He wasn't moving either too, eh? He was just like, I ain't moving. You gonna move. I think this is a mine. There's the town. Oh, what? We can't run him over? Tricky birds, man. Alright, let's just go to the town. We'll outdistance him. He won't catch us. Looks like we it might be a pawn. Is that a pawn shop? What are these? No, these aren't pawn shops. Zachariah's Laundromat. If we needed clothes, we could go there. Hardware store. Even a small poppin' pills would be nice, but... I know I've kind of gone around them before, but I'll take anything at this point. Passing gas. I think it's going to have to be the hospital. I can't think of anywhere else to go. I'm not looking forward to this though. It's such a big place. Okay, I think I can see it here. 
All right, let's just have a look over here, just in case. Just in case. Oh, I actually felt the resistance on that one. This is just, what, an apartment building? Yeah. All right, let's swing around this way. Have I mentioned how much I love having the motorcycle now? This thing is just sweet. I know the car will be nice, right? Being able to mow down people with the blade in the front of the car, but there's just something about having a motorbike in an ap apocalyptic game that just kind of screams yes. Oh. I have this feeling I should just nerd pull you know what? Let's go into uh, the emergency. There's like an emergency room around the back here. Ah, I missed him. Let's go to the emergency entrance just to see. I've been on the other side before. I haven't been in here. Whoa. I'll deal with you first. Got a little bit of lag. I don't know if it's going to affect our frame rate once we get inside, but we'll deal. There you are. Shh. I suck. There we go. Uh, do I have... Well, I guess we're using the axe. I did not bring anything to chop up stuff with. I guess I wasn't just really expecting to go after things like this. Come on. Fix the hitboxes. Well, good thing he had 350 health all the way through that. All right, well... Open door means death. Finger to the throat means death. Okay, a couple of chem stations. That's somebody dropping down somewhere. Damn it. Should have went the other way. We got him up. I got to worry about frame rate too. I'm like having a bit of a difficult time. At least they're not runners. Okay, one down. Stay down. There you are. I heard this guy walking around. I know we wa I know we drove by him. Walking on dead bodies. And another one. Well, better getting them now than having them walk in behind us. See ya. It's kind of nice to be able to go home to a brand new AK. Okay, this is the side I should have gone down. Okay. We'll go as far as we can in here. But I don't feel hopeful that we're going to find a beaker fast in here. Okay. Check your corners. Got 
got my arrows, people. Thank you very much. Chorus downstairs. That's the way it wants you to go. Down into the death trap. Eh, we got a runner. Let's wake him up. Okay, it's quiet. Where are you breaking? You know what we should do? They're in the uh, driveway. We should be looting um, this stuff as we go. So if we need to run... I don't know if they're outside. Certainly not going to make this easy, are they? What's this? Nothing. That sounds like a lot of zombies, though. Two, and they're both runners right here guys no 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 other door here you go whoa stay down nobody else woke up what are you two, special? Let's see if we can smoke the guys out here. Don't know if we can shoot them through these bars though. But let's try. Kind of a funny way to sit on a swing, but whatever. Is that somebody? Looks like it. I couldn't tell if that was short or long. Still somebody inside. I think they're a walker though. Let's go take care of this person first. Don't know how effective a bat's going to be against a runner. Over here. There you go. There you go. You found your way out. Should have stayed in though. See, was that a person over there? It totally is. Oh shit, of course. <laughs> right here, buddy. We gotta take care of that bird. Here he comes. And... Oh, you... You little... Shh, every time he does that to me. The worst thing is, is if you don't swing, he'll keep coming. And if you do swing, you miss him.
Okay, that one's down. Somebody way over there, too. Ooh! Oh, there's a vulture. Okay, I don't see any more. But there's still somebody lying right here. There you are. The swing's in the way. I can't tell where we're hitting. Nah, it's hitting the swing. Oh, there we go. Just had to go for the leg. See ya. It was almost like counterproductive. Can we make arrows? No, what are we missing? Stone. Meh. See, picking up stones, well, not very hard work. That's you arrows. Hold one arrow. Could go hit up a boulder, but I know what we can do. There we go. Wow, five more. Well, it's five that we didn't have. All right, I guess we're going either outside or downstairs. I don't think downstairs is going to give us what we want. Or we could break through here. like this. Okay. Second floor, guys. Here we go. 2.30 in the afternoon. We got a bit of time. I think as long as we leave here by 10, should be fine. Be a walker. Oh, just be dead. That works. Oh great, the psych ward. Good thing we chose the right side to come up on, eh guys? Yeah, my brother when he was uh, really sick ended up in the uh, psych ward. Commit he committed himself because he was having suicidal thoughts. And I remember going to visit him one day. He was actually doing pretty good. I mean, he was a relatively sane guy. He just had a lot of pain for most of his life, right? So I understand why. I wonder if there's pills in here. It looks like there is. I understand why he had suicidal thoughts and everything. But the thing that really got me was he was in there. And he's in a, like a group, of, like in a like the low threat area, right? And um, there was a friggin' they, in the group that he was with. There was a friggin' racist piece of shit. And he was like just going off on one of the uh, attendants. And I was ready to step in, and I thought, you know what? I have to leave here, right? I have to leave here and leave my brother here. And this guy, my brother's handicapped, and it's like, I won't be here if this guy decides to take out his vengeance on my brother. So I had to stay quiet. That's the worst thing I've ever had to do. Well, not the worst thing I've ever had to do, but it was pretty friggin' bad, right? When you got a racist piece of shit and you can't say anything. And it's not like I didn't want to. I really did, but the, ah, man. Not being able to do anything, that's, that's the worst All right. One bandage. 
This is going to be a long search. Okay, let's use that. Let's use this. Let's make another bandage. Oh, you want me to go that way, do you? Of course you do. Because this looks totally safe. Open. Hopefully that open is like the pills location. Nope. You capped. Somebody hit a mine. Ah, oh, we woke them all up, damn it. Two of them in there. And one's a runner. Did I kill him? I did. Wow, that was bad. Damn it. Oh, we're doing okay, I guess. Could be worse. Actually, you know what? I've been, I got my light on the whole time, and that actually makes it easier for them to see us. Really? I just want a beaker. That's the cafeteria. We're not going to find anything there. All right, we got a light here. It's going to be locked. That's probably the elevator over at the end of the hallway there. I wonder if we can take these x-rays. Because I know some things, when you break them, you just get them in your inventory. Oh, really? It's funny how those don't break. But I guess, you know what, I guess they wouldn't. I was just going to say, it's funny how they don't break, but if you're in a, uh, if you're in a uh, house <clears throat> and you shoot a wall, he's breaking out of somewhere. Please don't be a runner. What are you banging on? Okay, he's a walker. It sounded like a runner. I think he was in the room directly below us. Now. Let's see if we can get these. No, we got two metal. Nope. Damn it. That would be cool. I'll take the paint. Okay, this is starting to turn into a bust here. Now, there must be... Size my stone arrow. 
Oh, man. My pickaxing brings all the zombies to the yard. No, 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 not the roof. Shoot. I love the sound of being stunned. Hate being actually stunned, but I love the sound. I gotta clear this roof. Anybody who's ever been stunned before knows the sound is pretty darn close. I was almost put unconscious one time when playing hockey. I think I mentioned this story before. I was on the blue line and took a slap shot. Decided to take the hit instead of uh, not shooting. I took the shot. Of course, I didn't, didn't get a goal or anything, but took the shot and the guy hit me right with both hands right in the face. And I just remember not being able to stand up and thinking, why can't I stand up? Like, dude, you're fucking unconscious, man. You're half unconscious. All right, there's the roof cleared. I have no idea what's up. Oh, you want me to go up there, do you? I don't think so. Okay, I have to say thank goodness for all these single headshots because it's been saving our life. You're unlocked, but let's take the open door first. I wish you could take these hospital beds. Time I see one of these things. Let's hope the next room is clear. And then it's 10 after 6, so we're going to need to get out of here. Well, at least we cleared this side of the hospital. Alright, that looks like it's about it. Alright, well... Guess we're gonna have to do without the uh, beakers. Yeah, we'll have to do without the beakers, guys. Sorry. Man, it sucks. Almost as badly as me stepping on spikes like that. <sighs> Alright, let's just search a few of these. Coffee. I made a bunch of coffee too, some meat stews. A bunch of stuff to um, tide us over on Horde Night. So those are back in the uh, in the house. I should probably grab some leather while I'm here. Hey, we picked up three bucks too, man. Who says searching for spare change in the couch doesn't pay off, eh? See what we got here. I oh, got some wood. We're ready for that. 
And let's just grab this leather here and we'll get out of here. I mean, I think it's the parking down below. Just don't why I don't want to go down there. There's nothing we can use from the cars. But I think next time we head over that way. As long as nothing has respawned here. Well, I mean, even if it has, it doesn't really make that much difference. Okay, we can wrench this apart for leather. Already emptied that out. Those um, chairs, if you wrench them, you'll get leather, you'll get mechanical parts, you get iron, rather than if you just uh, break them up. If you break them up, I think you get a couple pieces of leather and a little bit of iron, but that's about it. All right, let's get going. Still have to dump all this stuff off at home. So our AK and our drawbridge should be done now. Is this a, what? Speed limit 25, eh? We're going to be going a little faster than 25. All right, let's see if we can get some good candidates on the way back here. I don't think anything is going to beat that, that, that girl that flew up in the middle of, like, just into space and then back down again. All right, here's somebody. Ah. Having difficulty lining them all up. Okay, Lumberjack, let's see what we got here. Ah, uh, Lumberjacks are always crappy. They're too beefy. Oh, here we got another one. Let's give this guy a chance. He's standing still, maybe it's better. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. Sorry guys, I'm bad at targeting big targets, I guess. Well, we're back in town. Oh, you know what I want to check out? matter? Come on. Hmm. There's a workbench and cement mixer back there. I don't think we need to go after those. I'm interested to know if anybody knows in the comments section. If you drop a land claim, I, I know if you if you place something like a workbench or alchemy still or a forge and you're it's within your land, land claim block range, you can pick it up again. But what I don't know, you know what? This is a bunker. We're going to have to hit this place up. Um, you can pick it up again, but what I don't know is um, if you put a land claim block down when there's already a workbench there, if you can pick that workbench up. Because I'd love to go around just dropping land claim blocks and picking up stuff that we need, like stills and stuff. You'd think that, you know, you'd be able to do that. All right. 39% gas. We didn't use too much today. Okay, here we go. All right, well, let's see what we got done in here. We got the drawbridge done. We got the AK and the submachine gun built. We should have anyway. I'm interested to see how far out that drawbridge goes though. Now the other question is, can I pick it up once I put it down? That's what I'm worried about, putting it down and then not being able to, like if I were gonna run a test on it, not being able to pick it up again. Because that would be bad. Okay. Uh, iron. Alright. Somebody's on the spikes already. We just got home. Just got home, they're wrecking our damn spikes. It's like, hey, welcome back. We, just remember we're here, we're gonna just screw up your spikes for you. Um, sure, we got 42 of them. Uh, lead, gonna need to put that in the uh, thing. Burst schematic, eh? What that's gonna give us? Okay, uh, what was I putting in here? Splint. And this can go in here. Uh, 
I think I've been putting, yeah. Those can go in there. You can go in here. Let's just wrench this sucker and I'll show you what I mean here. So mechanical parts, leather, iron. It's a little better if you wrench it. If you just break it apart or you scrap it, you get less. Oops, where's the iron? I can just sit there for now. Did this just stop? It did. Um, you know, I should have put my looting goggles on when I was in the hospital. Ah, God, I should just put them on when I leave the house. You know what? Maybe that's what I'll do from now on. I always want the, t the ex extra experience, and I've been, that's why I've been leaving them on. But I should just take them off, put them... Like, as soon as I leave the house, take them off, and then when I come back home, put, put the other ones back on. That's what I should do. Come on. That, this bike just looks so badass. Don't fall. Uh, okay, whatever. All right, let's have a look at our stuff here. So... Another 300 and some odd bits of ammo, reinforced drawbridge, AK, and a SMG5. Nice. So let's put those in here. These are for Horde Knight, and this is for Horde Knight. So we have a ton of ammo. I think that's probably way more than enough. I mean, 700 rounds of one, 800 rounds of another. I think we should be fine. Now this drawbridge, this is what I'm wondering about. Um... Let's go downstairs. So this is going to be... I can't even see up here. It's nice to be able to operate at night and not have to worry. Okay. So it looks like it's... How wide? Four wide? Yeah, it's like four wide. That's pretty good for the front. And how deep is it here? Can we get it on the the wall? One, one, two, three, four, five. Six. Oh, this will go right across the uh, spikes. That'll go right across the spikes. Okay, we're gonna put this on tomorrow. I don't know if we have to make it. No, it'll be fine because we'll put it up one. which will put it over the spikes, right? Yeah, that'll put it over the spikes, and then we need to put a ramp out front that's going to be too high that we can just drive up and into the base. Yeah, that's what we'll do. All right, that's going to be cool. Should do that now, though. It's probably a bad idea. Do it right now. Stay very, very quiet. The only thing I'm worried about is a pack of dogs. Because then I'll panic, they'll kill me, you'll laugh, and then it'll be me being sad for a while. Oh. Wait, why can you go there? But you can't go... Oh, you can. Question is, though, is that against the wall? It is. Oh, yes, please. You fucking got that right. <laughs> now we just have to build a ramp and we can park our motorbike like right in here. We'll just pull in, get off, close that up. 
right? I should make it go right into the base, though. I should. Is there a way to make a garage door? So we could put a, a garage door here. Garage door, metal. How tough is it, though? That's the problem. Probably not that tough. Although I don't, I don't think it really matters. If they're going to break in the base, they're going to break in the base anyway. 240 iron springs and mechanical parts. All right, let's go do that. Now, I think it's three high, though. Um, let's get this back on so you guys can see what we're doing here. So we need the metal. Uh, what else was it again? 12 mechanical parts and six springs, which we definitely have. Um, springs. Where are you? Springs. Uh, mechanical parts. There we go. So let's make one of these. Got to do it in the workbench. So let's do that. Ah. Twenty-seven seconds. Not bad. Okay. Put this stuff away. One. Two. All right, let's get this thing finished first. Wasn't expecting to go this long in the episode, but having a good time with this one. So we're gonna have, tomorrow I think we should work more on the, on the Horde base. It'll be day 27. So how's, wow, how big is that? That's like a, that's a three by two. That's plenty. Although it's not gonna be perfect down here. It's not going to be symmetrical. Right? But, whatever. Let's take these out. I wish we could just, like... I wish there was just a way that you could just pick these up. The doors. Like, disassemble it, rather than having to break it. Let's just put it on this side. All right, we got more people on the spikes outside. It's nice to be in here, and I know I'm secure. Okay, let's break this out. Let's break this out. I don't know if we need that to be concrete, but I'm going to make it concrete anyway. Uh, let's get... 20 of these. A couple of rebar frames. Where do we get the clay from? Oh, we get that from the... Uh, oh, that's interesting. We get that from the uh, thing. The bricks. Okay, so let's put these here. Of course, I didn't bring my hammer down with me. Because why would I? I just want to see if we can upgrade that door, too. I don't think we can. But we'll give it a shot, see what happens. Huh? Oh, are you kidding me? I put the... Ah, uh, dummy. Put the concrete away! Let's just do this. There we go. I should probably do this too. It's taking damage. What a that stink. It should just take it off of the I don't know how much I'm gonna need. It should just take it off the concrete if you're planning on making it concrete. There we go. And that's concrete on both sides of here and here, so I'm not worried about that. Uh, okay, so let's get the door. It's not going to look even, but I don't really care. Oh, it goes in the middle. Nice. Now, can we upgrade it? Oh, we need metal. Oh, we can upgrade it. Okay. Let's get... I'm interested to see how this looks now. 
Let's get our metal. Can put those away now. Let's get our... I don't know if we can upgrade it beyond that. I don't know how much it's going to take either, so let's just go check it out. Not enough forged iron. How much do we need, though? We just made a bunch, didn't we? Oh, for crying out loud. It's almost the morning of the next day, guys. That should give us more than enough, I think. Okay. Yeah, that's it. Can't make it steel. Oh, well. Steel, though. It's nice and reinforced if they ever do try and... If they ever do break in and stuff. It'll at least be partly defended. How much did that take to upgrade? Oh, like 40 or something. Okay, I can go back in there. Alright guys, I am going to leave the episode here for today. Tomorrow we will put the ramp on for the motorcycle so we can drive up and into the base. That's going to be awesome. Then we can just park the motorbike down here. Uh, that's really good. I'm really, really happy with that now. Uh, and I might upgrade just the concrete around the outside. Unlikely, but I might do it. Uh, and then we'll have a look at the Horde base out back, see what we're going to do out there. Um, we have a ton of materials. We got 73 iron spikes, barbed wire, and wood spikes traps. So I think I'm going to put them relatively close to the base so we don't have to use too many of them. Um, if we put them farther away from the base, it'll give us a... You know, not so much of an easier chance to hit, but if we miss with a bullet, we have a chance to hit the person behind them. But if we're shooting more straight down, like when they're closer, it's going to be harder to do that. But I think I would rather save resources. I don't think we've got too much to worry about this Horde Knight. So, but, you know, that being said, who knows, right? So, all right, I'm going to leave the episode there. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. You can drop any comments or questions in the comment section down below. And until next time, we'll see you later.